Um, not quite almost. We'll be here in a second. So I don't have to spell. And he's going to talk about let's buy a house. Although when he said it to me, I'm thinking let's buy a house. <laughs> so he's going to talk about buying a house. Good morning. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Jonathan. I'm from Houston, Texas. Uh, I want to talk about a lesson I did last year. This is sort of a long version, short version of it. I teach a lot of seniors. Uh, when the end of the year rolls around, they have a lot of pent-up demands about... They get this feeling like uh, things were supposed to be taught to them but never were. Um, and I try to address that sort of in the last couple weeks. Um, uh, so this is Let's Buy a House. Uh, or, or it's more affectionate title for a more kid-friendly language, uh, Please Teach Us to Adult. Uh, I've done this before, uh, so as a little history, um, it started out really lousy. It was a lot of me talking and like throwing up pictures of tax returns and things, and kids being like, uh-huh, uh-huh, sure, whatever. Um, not really understanding, and then sort of the second go-around, um, I had them do a little research, they were kind of working through a packet thing, um, but again, it didn't it didn't really resonate with them. They were like, I filled in all the boxes, but I, I don't really know what I did. Um, so the idea was to give them a more real experience of what it was like to buy a house as much as you can in a, in a classroom setting. Uh, reminds me of, there was this children's museum where, where I was growing up, and they would let you go to the bank and you could write real checks, and they would give you money, and, and you could go to the store and buy a little plastic fruit and whatnot. Uh, it's the same idea, but uh, more expensive. Um, so, like I said, there's a long version, short version of this task. The main objective is to go do some research about the real estate market, uh, sort of in the neighborhood around the school. Um, just kind of show of hands, where are my renters at? Who rents for a living? Yeah, what's up? That's, that's us. Right? Um, the population of my school is, I would say, at least 70, maybe even 80% apartment dwellers. Um, so they don't know a lot about what it's like to buy a house, how, how what the process works, or even uh, in, anything about it, really. Um, they know how renting works, they got that down. Um, but the sort of finer points of homeownership uh, are lost on them. So this, again, is to give them an idea like what it would be like one day if they wanted to do something like that. Uh, so the objective was, I said, all right, close your eyes for a second. Envision you're in your mid-30s, and let's pretend you have some sort of stable career. You've managed to save up the ungodly amount of money you need to buy a house. Let's just assume that's happened. Uh, go shopping. So I give them a budget. So in, in our area, about $350,000 gets you a decent amount of house. The people from California are like, say, what? Um, that's like a one-room studio or something, right? <laughs> so, all right, you can you can do all right on that. Um, I'm telling you, you can get just as much help for half of that. You can go to Chicago. Uh, so they had to spend some time recently. This, this was kind of a week long thing. They had to go. They had to go shopping, and they had to find four houses. Four houses they might be reasonably interested in buying, uh, and at the same time they also had to go car shopping too. So I said, you get three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a house, and you get thirty-five thousand dollars for a car. Again, let's just pretend the money's there. Uh, we'll ignore the career part. Uh, and once they found uh, something they wanted, here comes the silly part. Uh, I, I I do silly. So um, they I know right. Uh, so they had to go to the bank, uh, and the bank was me sitting at a desk over in the corner. Uh, I set up two little chairs, I had a bell, the whole thing. Uh, the bank had hours. Uh, you had to make sure you got to the bank on time. It was only open for like 30 minutes, too. <laughs> Banks. Uh, and so once they were ready, they had to come over to the bank and they had to ask for a loan. And this, this is the exact phrase they had to use to ask for a loan. So I would sit there quietly and they would kind of look at me and they'd be like, Dude, uh, uh, really? I have to? And I would just point. <laughs> and wait. Uh, so once they did, I would be like, oh yes, how may I help you? Um, and they got to choose from a variety of loans, which was just, um, uh, if it would click, there it goes. Um, so I had little index cards, and some kids had fun playing along. So as the, um, 
as more and more kids were ready, like a little line would form, and you'd hear, you'd hear somebody like three people back being like, oh, there's always a line. <laughs> Uh, I would mess with them too, so uh, occasionally I would go on break. <laughs> I would just get up. Uh, or mid sentence, mid sentence, they'd be saying something. I'd be like, "Hang on," and just look at my phone. Uh, eventually, I would I would sort of put all the index cards face down, and I would say, "Pick one," uh, and they were like, "Really? This is how it works?" And I was like, "For some people, might as well." Um, once they picked a card, they had an option between uh, like a 30 year and a 15 year. They did the same thing for the cards. Uh, in a different version of this, I had them come up as a couple. So I said, one of you is responsible for the house, one of you is responsible for the car. And they started arguing, like couples argue, <laughs> over which one was the best. They're like, no, you don't know what you're doing, you need to get this one. <laughs> because they have any idea. Um, and then they would go back to their seats and be like, oh, which one did you get? Oh, you got a good one. Oh, you got a bad one. I was like, how do you even know? <laughs> you don't know. Uh, and then I also said, like, as they're sitting there discussing interest rates, I would kind of walk up to one and whisper, I was like, this is what adults do. <laughs> they're like, no. <clears throat> uh, some complained, I had one boy who complained, and I said, uh, mm, I lost connection, so I'm going to go over here. I had one boy who, hang on, let's... Uh, I had one boy who was upset, so I directed him to the complete department. <laughs> uh, once they had secured their loan and found what they wanted to buy, uh, we have a, so the county we live in has a publicly available uh, appraisal database of any property, residential, commercial, whatever it's worth, because we had to explain this thing called property tax. And they were like, huh? Um, so they had to take whatever their property was and they had to go look it up. Uh, if you look it up in our particular database, you get stuff like this. Uh, there's a lot of things in an individual real estate report. This is what I had them focus on. It's current appraised value. You also get a five-year history um, so that you can see, just like everywhere else, that how the uh, appraised value of these homes is just going up. Um, and then they had to plug it into a spreadsheet, which we had spent. So before I set them loose, uh, they had to go, we put this spreadsheet together, which calculated payments and, and all this stuff. So each kid built this beforehand. This wasn't like, a, like here you go, just type in some numbers. They, they went through and typed in all the formulas that were supposed to be whatever. If you were curious, and uh, if you've ever played with one of those online mortgage payment calculators or car payment calculators, uh, you can do it yourself. You don't have to use one of those little app things. Uh, that's the formula for it, if you were curious. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a big calculus nerd, uh, it's a... You, do some stuff with the power series derivation and yada 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 later, you get that. Uh, all you need is the interest rate principal and um, the number of years you want to borrow and it'll turn it into a payment. Um, once they had sort of picked the, the house they were going to buy, they had to put the product together. So they had figured out all their total payments and things, they got their, total, they got their mortgage payment plus property tax plus car payment and then they had to display uh, what they went with. So here's an example of a house that won. Uh, off to the so the screenshot of, of the property. Off to the right is all the financial information associated with it. Uh, then they picked a car as well. We also glossed. So I did a lot of uh, glossing over glossing over things. So we didn't talk about insurance or electric bills or any of that any of that stuff. Um, we also didn't talk about like um, is it really practical to have a seven hundred and sixty five dollar car payment? Maybe not. But um, <laughs> that's what they got. Uh, and then, uh, as a little, uh, yeah, ouch. Uh, and as a little reality check, I said, all right, take those two, add them together, multiply it by three, and that's what you better hope you're making if you want to afford whatever it is you just bought, which made some of them go like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, and then for funsies, uh, because, uh, where I live, Houston is really big, we've got some, like, big time baller homes in the area. Uh, and so I said, let's try this, ex and so like sort of once they finished, I said, let's try this exercise if we had uh, unlimited funds, right? So I pulled up, I just sort of did like any price, and uh, I had them pick, and they picked, the, uh, they picked, for example, this like $9 million monstrosity. And, and I was like, well, we could all live there together. <laughs> it's only four bedrooms. Yeah, but they're big. They're luxurious. But there's six garages. Oh, well. 
And there's plenty of houses. <laughs> so, and this is this is fun. If you try to buy a house of this price, like a quote normal person with like the 20% down payment and calculate the mortgage, the mortgage is like $65,000 a month. <laughs> Not practical. Right? And then you're paying a tax bill. And then, uh, it, this is also fun side discussion. Uh, so when they looked at their own houses, the, the property tax and the sale price were sort of within reasonable spitting distance of each other. But it's like, how come the rich guy is $3 million lower? What the heck? What is that? So this house, that, that's the listing for this house. It's, it, the county says it's worth five, but they're selling it for nine. Um, uh, anyway, so uh, at the end, once they had all that, I had them write me some, some conclusions, like what did you learn from this sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> Amen. Amen. Right? Uh, and then here's some more, I'll just put them up there for a second and read. I've heard worse reasons to buy a house. <laughs> this kid's like, <laughs> This was touching, too. Oh my gosh. This kid really went for it. And I'll leave you with one last one here. <laughs> <laughs>